And uh, I, Jocelyn, you want to say a word to the nice people before we yes. kind of jump yeah, in? Yeah, I just I just pressed record. Uh, I don't know if it like mentioned it to everyone else, but it was pretty loud on my side. Um, so we're just recording because uh, there are obviously people that maybe aren't able to make it due to work or whatnot. And we just wanted to be able to share this uh, with everyone else that couldn't be here today. Um, but my name is Jocelyn, like Father Joe said, I am originally from Illinois, but right now I'm living in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I started working at the Pope's Prayer Network back in 20, well, a year and a half ago. Yeah, a year and a half ago. And uh, I've gotten several opportunities from Father to just be able to grow in my own gifts. And this is this is one of the things that we're trying out. And he was like, Jocelyn, I trust you. Go for it. Um, bring the people together. And so here we are, uh, which is really beautiful to see everyone that is already here and everyone that's joining as we speak. And so I just wanted to give you all a little rundown of what the next 15 minutes will look like. It's going to go by so fast, but uh, we just wanted to provide an opportunity for all of you to be able to come together in prayer, to read scripture together, and to reflect, uh, especially this month, on our Blessed Mother Mary, since it is the month of May and the month of Mary. So uh, we'll, we'll start with the prayer uh, in a couple minutes, and then after that, we'll read the gospel. And I just have a couple, a couple words to share with you all on what the Lord has been doing in my own heart and what is... Um, a beautiful invitation for you as well and then we'll have some a couple minutes to open the floor up if you guys wanted to share any prayer intentions and there are two ways to do it so there's the chat that um i know patricia said hello from canada earlier so there's a chat that you guys can uh, take any time throughout the next 15 minutes to to just share any intentions that you might have uh, Father Joe and our team here at the Pope's Prayer Network, we every month offer a mass for all of the intentions that we receive through email, voicemail, phone calls, uh, anyone that we see in person. And uh, we offer those up for all of you guys during that mass. But then we also, I make sure to print the intentions out for each one of our team members and um, give it to them so that they can keep praying for you all throughout the month. So everything that we share here, uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to record it was so that we could keep track of what you guys share out loud in case we can't get to writing it down, but also we'll have a chat that I can save and then add all of our intentions to a big list. So let us get started. Thank you all for being here and for joining us today. Uh, like Father Joe said, this is called Thursdays from the Heart, and just a couple quick minutes to be together in prayer. So if you guys wouldn't mind joining me in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come Holy Spirit, teach us how to pray. Lord, thank you so much for the gift of this opportunity. Thank you for the gift of our faith and for the gift of that you are to each one of us. We pray that you may bless the next 15 minutes or so that we have together. We pray that you may guide our conversation, that you guide our hearts as we reflect on scripture and on your blessed mother. And we give to you the rest of our days and our weeks. We love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Today's, today's gospel is uh, from... John. So I'm going to jump straight into it and then uh, we can go on to the next thing. A reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
All right. So specifically th today, I wanted to talk about um, the glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary as queen of heaven and earth. And um, I had this really beautiful thing. Father Joe told me today that I needed to go to the chapel for a little bit and go pray uh, before this meeting today with all of you. And so I was like, okay, I went to the chapel and we have the gift of being able to have our office in the basement of this, the most beautiful chapel that is like the size of a big church upstairs. And sometimes we hear the sisters playing the organ and we're like, wow, are we in heaven? But today I went to the chapel because there's a couple hours of ad adoration that we have. And I walk in and there's a sister that is like waving me for to go to her. And so I was like, oh, hi, sister. And she's like, I have this prayer card for you. It's from Magigori. It was blessed by the Blessed Mother for you. And so she gave me this little card and I was like, wow, thank you. And before this, I knew that I wanted to go to the chapel and say, okay, Jesus, I want everyone to be able to have enough time to share all of their prayer intentions because I want Father Joe and I to be praying for them. And I was like, but it's not possible to do that if a lot of people show up and there's just not enough time. And so I went in there and he was like, Jocelyn, remain in me. Like, that's one thing that you're going to be talking about today. And just let me take care of it. And you have Mary by your side and you're going to be talking about my mom and she sees you. And the way that I got that confirmation was by that sister sharing that card with me and being like, okay, she clearly, even for Magigori, is seeing me right now and knows like, hey, my daughter, like, I know that you're about to just be able to share who I am and who my son is with everyone that shows up today. And that is a really big gift. So remain there. And I was just like, wow, that's definitely not what I planned on sharing with you all today. But it was beautiful that that just popped up. And I was like, I need to I need to tell everyone about just like the coincidence of like me going to the chapel, seeing the sister who had this prayer card that I'm pretty sure she had been like holding on to for who knows how long until she saw me walk into the chapel because I see her every time I go pray there. And I just like wanted to bring that up and share that today because as we reflect on both how to remain in the Lord and in the Father's arms, but then also how to receive the gift of the Blessed Mother, they go hand in hand so beautifully because she was crowned the Queen of Heaven. And uh, when during Lent, I watched the, um, the Passion and there was the the scene of just like that exchange between Jesus, John, and Mary, where he says like, woman, behold your son, and son, behold your mother. I was like really struck by just the gift that Mary is to all of us, and how from that moment on, like everyone else that came after, like receives this gift of Mary as our mother, and everyone before, and everyone after us, mm -hmm. and it's just like such a big gift that I feel like I need to share with everyone. And we all know that already, but sometimes it's good to like take the time to reflect on Mary as our mother and how her mission was to bring everyone closer to her son, Jesus. And she's like doing that so beautifully. And so how how do you do that during this month? Um, and there are a couple, a couple things that uh, I think that are practical ways of doing that. One, uh, obviously, like being able to go to Jesus in the Eucharist, whether that's at Mass or uh, in adoration, but also the sacraments. And I'll share uh, one of the things that the back of this little prayer card says is, I give you the weapon against your Goliath. Here are your little stones. And there's five things. Rosary. One, what was that? Oh yeah, the rosary. So one, prayer with the heart, the rosary. Two, the Eucharist. Three, the Holy Bible. Four, fasting. And five, monthly confession. And it's just like, it just wraps everything together that like I could have possibly thought about sharing with you all today on remaining close to the Lord through those five things and on um, just like being able to receive the Blessed Mother as 
our mother and to share that with other people. And so I just invite you all to take that to your own personal prayer and to just ask the Lord like how you can better receive Mary and be closer to him. And so moving right along <laughs> very quickly, but I wanted to invite you all to be able to share with each other your own personal intentions that you carry in your heart. Uh, if you don't feel like you want to go into um, detail, you can just say in the chat, like, pray for my personal intentions. But I wanted to open the floor up as well if you wanted to unmute yourself to share briefly anything that you desire for us to pray for. And if not, you can always um, type it up and share it with everyone else through that. And I'll just try to read along um, whatever is added in the chat. So the floor is open. <laughs> And maybe uh, raise your hand if you have your video open and maybe Jocelyn can call on you. If you don't have your video on, you can flip it on. There's also a little feature you can like digitally raise your hand. Mm -hmm. If yes. that's too complicated, you can throw it into the chat or also just quietly bring it to the Lord. So, um, Cora? Uh, yes, my my son is, a, uh, is an Episcopalian priest. He's been a priest for a year and a half. And yesterday... He was assigned his very own church to be pastor in. Mm -hmm. And I would like to ask the group to please pray that the Holy Spirit guide my son as he begins his pastorship. For sure. Thank you, Cora. I think uh, Menchu and then Jerry. Oh, hello. Thank you. I would like to pray for just people in IT that they are just suffering so, so badly, especially for a friend of mine that is there with all her family, still safe, but they have to, to escape to the mountains because they were just burning all, all the area that, that they were living in Puerto Principe. And as well for the people in Manipur in India, where they apparently they are just nearly a year that they're in conflict um, for peace in both places and in everywhere that this is war or a conflict. Thank you very much. Thank you, Manchu. Um, I've really been really blessed with really good health all my life, but just um, currently um, just experiencing a lot of health issues, especially chronic fatigue. So the prayer would be Yes, for my healing, but that I just um, be obedient to the Lord and his will for me at this time in my life. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jerry. Ms. Anderson, I saw your hand go up earlier. And then if you want to unmute yourself. Hi. Um, I'd like to pray for my nephew who has an autistic daughter. And I don't think he's handling the challenge as well as he could be and for God to give him strength to handle the challenge yeah thank yeah. you thank you Angela and then you're muted okay there um hello I actually wanted to offer um, two prayers of Thanksgiving um first off I heard from my doctor today I don't have an arrhythmia um, so that was definitely something that would not have been good. Um, and the second one is that I got my glaucoma surgery scheduled. Um, I've been um, having a lot of problems with the office staff at the doctors, and they finally scheduled my surgeries for me. So I just wanted to offer up a prayer Thanksgiving because it's important to thank the Lord for yes. good things that happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for the reminder as well to always continue to be grateful. Let me call on uh, Patricia Fetter. She's a friend. She taught me religion when I was 14 years old. Um, I th <laughs> she must have been fresh out of college then. I also worked with her son uh, at a Jesuit school. So, Patty, any intentions you might have? Oh, thank you, Joe. Um, yeah, I pray for my son who has uh, joined the Navy, um, taking our family in a direction we've never experienced or expected. Um, and I, I pray for my husband who's recently retired and is seeking to put the Lord first in his life that that um, 
who finds the sacred heart and um, specifically through the spiritual exercise of St. Ignatius beginning this fall. Um, so those are the intentions on my heart at the moment, as well as my um, my daughter who's stepping out in her professional life as a music teacher at an all girl Catholic high school. These are intentions on my heart today. Thank, Thank you, you, Patricia. Uh, Judith and then Anna. Um, me and a small group of people have started a prayer group for people with mental illness. Called encouragement. And so I want to pray for um, people that all over the world who have mental illness. Thank you, Judith. Sister Anna? I don't speak very good English, um, but uh, I, I would like to pray for the apostle of prayer here from for of my congregation we have a chapel here in, in uh, near downtown in buenos aires and so yeah we would like to pray for for that intention because uh, 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 for that little for this little group and to my for my religious family uh, situation and for um, my family situation too. Thank you. And for the peace of the world. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Thank you. <clears throat> and then there's also um, a couple of prayers that uh, have been written down in the chat. Um, I won't be able to get through all of them, like reading them out loud, but um, Agatha asks for prayers for her parish and St. In St. Columbia, Edinburgh, and for Scotland for their election of a new first minister. Um, and I'm going to scroll a little bit down, but know that we're I'm going to write all of your prayer intentions down. But Cora prays for vocations to our religious communities. And Kathy asks for prayers for her brother-in-law, who's expecting news on a prostate cancer diagnosis. And um, Ralphie, we pray for your mom. Um, and her, who has a black blood cloth in her stomach, and she's 93, so they cannot do surgery. We're just going to continue to pray for her and for you as well and your health, and um, know that we, as a apostle of prayer, we ask all of you guys to continue to pray for each other, especially if you're able to continue to come back in the next couple of weeks to just like know that we have this little but mighty community here that we have just all entered into which is a big gift and not one that should go unnoticed and so keep praying for each other and if you want to take some time to read through the prayer intentions in the chat uh, that way you uh, can take those to your prayer as well and another thing father joe and i on our website we have uh, this two-page reflection that you can use Every month we post a new one with the monthly prayer intention of the month and from Pope Francis. So we pick a gospel passage and add a couple of questions to guide you in your reflection through the prayer intention. And you can use that for your own personal prayer with a friend over coffee or in a classroom if you teach religious education anywhere. And so we just have that as another thing an option for you guys to continue to pray throughout the month and grow in your own prayer as you pray along with Pope Francis and his intentions. And so to close us off, um, I know the time has gone by very quickly, but I wanted to invite all of us to pray the Memorari, uh, which is a Marian prayer, just to continue to ask for her intercession and to continue to uh, just remember that she is our mom and that she will never forget us and will continue to always guide us closer to her son. So if you guys wouldn't mind joining me in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, 
hear and answer us. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much. And um, you're free to go, but if you want to say hello to anyone, <laughs> you have the time and space here to do so. So thank you all for coming. And again, a reminder, next Thursday, May 9th, same time, 3 p.m. Central Time. If you're able to join us, we would love to see your beautiful faces again. Thank, thank you. you. Let's give Jocelyn a little snaps, <laughs> tiny <laughs> round of applause. <laughs> Wonderful job, Jocelyn. Um, <laughs> I work with her every day. I see her love for Mother Mary. Um, well, I'm disappointed. Thanks for leading us. Again, Please, if folks want to stick around, you, you can. If you want me. to How do you jump hear in me? next week, you can do that too. So um, we'd love to see you again next week and the week after and the week after. Thank you. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. Mr. Ana, thanks for your vocation. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Para ti. Gracias. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Ralphie, did you want to say? Oh, she left already. Wonderful. Agatha, you might be the person farthest away who uh, joined us. So <laughs> we'll give you a special prize of spiritual graces for uh, <laughs> jumping in. <laughs> <laughs> Menchu, Thank thanks you. for your prayers. Um, thanks for praying for us. We'll see you next week. <laughs> okay. Amen. Okay. Same Thank Zoom you. time, same Zoom link. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Margaret, did you did you have anything that you wanted to share earlier? Or Edward. I don't know for your help, for your sister. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you hear me? I wasn't I sure. I did. Yeah, I can hear you right now. Um, you said for your for the health of your sister. For my sister Barbara. For your sister Barbara. For your sister Barbara. Okay. Barbara. Barbara. Yes, this okay. Is Margaret. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, Margaret. She's undergoing lots of medical testing to determine what is happening. Okay. Mm, gosh. Yeah. I will make sure to add her to the list. And I also see that you um, mentioned it in the group chat. So mm -hmm. I'll be saving all yeah, of those as well. And I guess I'm having a little difficulty figuring this Zoom thing out because. <laughs> We're learning ourselves, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, That's hey, good. you're here. Uh, you heard you heard some things. You shared some prayers. So I think you're doing mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And and we have a prayer group at Sacred Heart Church here in Florida. Every morning we pray the the rosary and the divine mercy before mass. That's beautiful. Wonderful. What part yeah. of Florida? 